All right, here we go. After a 2023 slowdown, St. John's County Tourism Marketing will have a different look. Oh, okay, here we go. They say... They say the tourism sector is set for a strategic revamp in 2024 following a somewhat challenging 2023. Susan Phillips, she is the president and CEO of the St. John's Visitors and Convention Bureau, has announced a shift in marketing tactics to boost local tourism. Come through, Susan. The VCB, funded by short-term rental tax revenue, aims to recalibrate its promotional efforts. We've just said the same things five twice in the opening. Well, they sentence. really are driving a point here. <clears throat> I guess so. Phillips, in discussion with the Business Journal, acknowledged the need for a more targeted approach. Hmm. The county's advertising expenditure, she noted, hasn't sufficiently supported local attractions and eateries. Oh, okay. I Ooh. like the twist of this. Okay, uh, yeah, I kind of like where this is going. Okay. Beginning this month, the focus will shift to drawing visitors from nearby regions like Daytona and Orlando. Uh, now the goal is to increase foot traffic, benefiting uh, businesses, even if it doesn't significantly boost overnight stays. Mm. So they're doing more of a focus on get into the local businesses, spend money with the local businesses. Focus will shift drawing visitors from nearby regions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. People, so they're going to try and pull people. If people are here and staying overnight, they're going to spend money in those restaurants. And uh, yeah. that's. I guess that's that you would think so, right? You that's would assume the way it that. That yeah. is the way it works because, yeah. you know, they're not cooking in those <clears throat> hotels. They're well, unless it's like meth. They're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not in our hotel. Yeah. No, <laughs> not in your hotels, but, you know, there are um, some of those seedy ones. Yeah. Uh, those are locals. Um, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but, I mean, it, you know, overnight stays generate uh, attraction visits and they generate um, uh, restaurant stops and things like that. So, you know, targeting uh, day visitors affects traffic. I'm not 100% behind this, mm. you know, obviously as a hotel person. <clears throat> Hotelier. So, you know, because, I mean, the, the getting the quality visitor to stay that extra day uh, is, is where the target should be. Okay. So. Interesting. Uh, the VCB also intends to shed light on lesser-known activities in the county, such as kayaking, agricultural, and cultural tourism. Not very specific. Mm -hmm. It's very broad, but that's okay. It gives a lot of people opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the diversified approach aims to showcase the county's wide array of experiences, mm -hmm. moving away from more generalized advertising, which was basically telling people to come here and drink. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, um, a, it's a romance. It's a romance. romance. Oh, so romance. now we're doing the rom. Okay. Okay. Good. And drink. <laughs> well, yeah. that's always well, the well. That's yeah. a huge. A lot of people get more romantic when they drink. It's yeah. also part of the fabric of our history in the town. Yeah. We were yeah. we were a drinking town even back from the prohibition times. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. We should bring hookers back. Oh, God bless. They're still here. I'm, sure. I'm kidding. I'm Joking. allegedly. All our kids have stopped watching. Yeah. Well, they're going. <laughs> I forgot school's not back in yet. <laughs> Phillips is also keen to promote the county as a year-round destination for weddings and sports tourism. I don't know what sports tourism is. Maybe it's those outdoor activities, huh? Those are those are the tournaments that they Pickle draw ball. for, like the youth, uh, the youth and stuff like yeah. that. And they travel with a big, you know, and, and it needs to be more team sports, um, you know. Cause, cause <laughs> Florida it, men games. I'm yeah. just saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that is that is a one one of them that would qualify. As Florida that. man games actually meets all meets and exceeds all of these things. We need to talk to the VCB. That'd be great. Despite a stronger end of 2023, Phillips is convinced that this new coordinated marketing strategy is crucial for the county's tourism success in 2024. She emphasizes the importance of change to achieve different, more positive results in the face of previous challenges. I mean, it's it's like <clears throat> the tough thing about this, about everybody kind of comparing 2023 to the previous years, like, of course, 2023 is going to be down from what we saw in 2020. 21. Yeah, the surge 20, from that. 20, yeah. I mean, it was such was a massive surge. Sure, sure. um, yeah. 23 was good early in the year, so up until about April, May, and then it just fell off. It fell off really drastically. So, I mean, but overall for the year, our our hotels finished slightly up. Okay. Um, but I mean, the way we were surging at the beginning of the year, we're like, oh my gosh, so we, you know, we're we're just gonna crush it and then all of a sudden it just dove yeah off the i mean it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it at uh night of lights 
Uh, right. You know, no, that was a huge push, yeah. right? Yeah. But uh, but a lot of those are. Was the that dr- the biggest Nights of Lights you've seen? <sighs> it felt like it to me. I mean, yeah. but I, I'm getting Ooh. older and grumpier. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so, right, I mean, it's like, oh, it never was like this before. And it's almost <laughs> the exact same. Yeah. Or like, yeah. you know, the older people that say, oh, kids today. No, they're the exact same. Okay. You, you're the one that changed. Um, you know, but I mean, it's. <laughs> It's it's hard to really measure that, and a lot of night lights is what she's talking about is targeting the drive in and drive out people. Right, mm-hmm. and I, I see what you're saying. You know, I I would prefer them come park at the hotel, visit, and not impact the infrastructure as much as the people that are looking for parking the entire time they're there and they're driving around constantly. Um, well, let's talk about so, where you benefited, which was like sing out loud when they did the Friday, Saturday, and they stayed over that Sunday, yeah. right? Yeah, well, what came, about strategically placing Thurs- festivals? They came in Thursday, Friday, and Saturday on the weakest month of, of the year, which is, you know, a huge target for where I want to see the money is, uh, you know, where we, we know we're uh, noticeably down. Like September is the weakest month we have as far as tourism. Mm. So, I mean, it... it it's when businesses are just like, okay, let's hold on. And then like hell week last week is just when, you know, everything's completely, everybody's busy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It'll be interesting to uh, kind of watch that new strategy unfold, see yeah. how it works out, see if it makes a positive impact. I think they, they need to get on the like worst five cities for parking. And then like, then people might be more convinced. Hey, yeah. Let's just book a hotel. That's going to be our counter marketing you know, worst cities list. You yeah. got a diamond there. I wonder if there. we can, you know, the, a you. lot of, a lot of people can pay to get on best cities lists. I wonder yeah. if we can gather up some money, get on crowd list. fund uh, some find advertising to get on you. some worst lists. Well, the, the thing is with the, with our parking is, you know, we we have some alternate situations, but our wayfinding mm. of getting to them is so challenging for someone who's not uh, not from here. It's mm. such a challenge. Once the parking garage closes, you know, trying to get to the alternate parking at Brownies, if you're not from here, even explaining how to get there is not easy. Sure. True. You know, so, I mean, the wayfinding has to be better. Oh, that's um, an interesting point. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's it's not, the you know, like Brownies was busy, but it was never full. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, but the city was packed. Because right. people didn't know, okay, go there. Right, right, There's right. There's still a couple of spots in downtown that offer parking that I always know I can get a yeah. space. Mm-hmm. There's always a couple. But yeah, if I was from out of town, I would just have no clue. Yeah. I just have no, no yeah. idea where to go. And like I said, I mean, even explaining how to get there is a challenge. Uh, it's there, but explaining how to get there is a real challenge. So, yeah. So whose message is that to put out? Is that the city's message to put out to where to park? And then the VCB kind of boosts that? I don't well, understand I mean, the, the setup there. Because well, they also closed the San Marco parking lot. And I know that ticked a lot of people off. Mm-hmm. Being without, there wasn't much communication about it. So I'm just, I'm, I know, I, I'm just saying, who's... Whose responsibility is it? And maybe we need to capitalize well, on that. Well, I mean, that, that's where some of this money probably needs to go is to help the wayfinding to help uh, pe- people get there. If that's going to be a permanent solution over at Browdy's, then we need to start working towards it. Because when we first opened the parking garage, people didn't know where it was. Right, right, right. You know, and it took like two, three years for people to get accustomed to, okay, we're going to get there. And then the signs changed and mm-hmm. everything else changed. Um, you know, it's a valid pr- point. You're right. There's you know, not a, a, lot a prime there. example is like when we opened the amphitheater, everybody's like, oh, parking. And parking was my biggest fear when we opened the amphitheater. But um, each year we got a little bit better. Yeah. And it's not even, it's not even huge. No one talks issue. really about it now. Yeah, not right. So, right. I mean, it, it, and you know, and that's what we got to do. We got to build on. Okay, this is how we're going to have to get there, uh, instead of throwing out ideas and you know, stick with the plan and go with the plan and and you know, see it all the way through. It seems like we change it too much. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. The biggest problem to me is like I know a bunch of dudes who come down from Jacksonville to work and it, like they can never find parking. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, a lot of these businesses downtown <laughs> don't have designated employee spots. Right. It's not profitable yeah. to the people who own that. So, Well, that was one of the things I saw at Scarlett O'Hara's. You know, they used to have that parking lot across the street mm-hmm. from Scarlett O'Hara's. Right. Um, and as soon as they closed that down, yeah, they, business died. Part, yeah. Business died like that because there was nowhere to park in the immediate vicinity of Scarlett O'Hara's. So people just, they, par- they parked where they could and they went to the nearby other places, mm-hmm. you know? Um, which I I told you guys I went in there re- recently before the break. It's great. That's some great yeah. food at yeah, the yeah. new Scarlet's. I've yeah, heard, I've heard good things for sure, yeah. dude. So. Night and day yeah. with the food. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. 